bias and amplifier, uh, you need to have the power connected. You need to have a speaker hooked up. And in all reality, you should have your guitar hooked up as well. And uh, just have the volume off, of course. Turn on your power and your standby. Uh, when you bias an amplifier, the tube should be uh, pretty warm. So I would let it run for uh, you know, 10, 15 minutes before you uh, start doing your bias work. That lets the tubes get up to their normal heat. Uh, with the Divinity amplifier, your pins are right here. You'll see this right pin controls these two tubes. This outside pin here controls these two tubes. The inside pin is ground. So when I do a bias check on it, I'm using DC voltage for my multimeter. I'm going to put my ground point, hot point, check these two outside tubes. And I am reading 69 millivolts. That's for the pair of tubes. So you divide that in half. So we're at roughly 34 and a half millivolts per, per tube. Now these are electroharmonics EL34s. Uh, if you go to the electroharmonics website and look at the schematic or specs for the EL34 EL34 tubes, you'll see that. Uh, uh, 35 millivolts is a safe operating range, uh, especially with the plate voltage of this particular amplifier, which is about 465 volts. Um, I'm going to check the outside tubes now. Now these I have purposely adjusted so I can show you how to adjust them. And they are set at 116 millivolts for the pair of tubes, so we're roughly you know, 57, 58 millivolts per tube, which uh, is too high. So we're going to bring that down some. And inside you have your two screw pots. One screw pot is for this set of tubes, and the other screw pot is for this set of tubes. I'm going to go ahead and adjust. You don't need to adjust very much. They're very touchy. I turn that about a, a millimeter. And I've dropped down to 99 millivolts. So I'm going to turn it some more. Gave that one about an eighth of a turn. And I am at 69 millivolts, same as the other side. Now, important thing to note about bias on an amplifier. One set of tubes is at 70 millivolts, 35 millivolts a piece. And the other set of tubes are at 80 millivolts, 40 millivolts a piece. It's not going to hurt anything. You're not going to get any funky sound. You're not going to destroy the tubes. You're not going to hurt the amp. You're not going to really hear any difference, so it's not that big of a deal. Tubes, the bias in an amplifier is going to change from all sorts of different things. Extreme weather conditions can change uh, the bias in an amplifier. Um, moving it from one place to another, from one gig, from your practice place to a gig, shipping an amplifier, all those things will, will adjust the, the bias in the amplifier, so it's not really that big of a deal. You switch out tubes, it's recommended you bias amplifier and that's why we're showing you this today.